Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and it is the first of the month, so you know what that means? Yes, it is once again Unreal Christmas. It is the first day of the month, which means Epic Games are giving away a bunch of free content on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So you get five items that are free for the month, you buy them, they are yours forever, but you do have to quote, air quote, buy them. And then on top of that, there are two items in here that are free forever. On top of that, there's a bit of sad news, maybe. I will get to that at the end of the video so the suspense is killing you. But in the first place, let's get to the good news. Let's look at the new assets. So here you can see in front of you the Unreal Engine Marketplace in the web browser. You can also get to this with the Epic Game Launchers. The cool thing they did a few months back was they added a free category. So everything we are going to talk about today is available in the free for the month. And then all of the things they've added in the free forever category are in the permanently free category. So we're going to go with free for a month and you will see here, all you need to do is click it like so. Add it to your cart, assuming you're signed in, and then click buy. So now we're going to jump through and look at each of these five items in turn, and then we will get on to the two permanently free items. And of course, I will link an article with all of this stuff linked down below uh, if you want to learn more information. So the first one we've got is the Dynamic Locomotion Plus Blueprints. This is a set of 27 animations, walk, run, jump, etc., with blueprints to provide dynamic, stylized locomotion. Um, we've actually had a couple of assets like this right now, so at this point in time, you probably fully have your uh, animation needs covered when it comes to uh, using Unreal Engine, which is definitely a good thing. People need to use animations. The more diversity in the animation, the less samey they look if you actually use these and publish them in a game. So this one is pretty straightforward. You can scroll down here and find out the full list of the animations. So we got idle walk, uh, walk with leaning, walk with stopping, jog, run, jump, uh, leap, and so on. As you see here, this is the form of 27 animations, 27 root motions. Um, they don't say how many blueprints, but yeah. So that one is pretty straightforward. It's, you can also see the versions that's available here and the platforms. Now, as you can see from the double windows, uh, this whole platform thing in the marketplace, it is pretty stupid to be honest. Normally, I think it boils down to the ones that they were tested on as opposed to the ones it works in. So take it with a grain of salt. So next up, we have Easy Multi-Save. Easy Multi-Save is an all-in-one save and loading solution for projects of any kind. Um, easy multi saves and all in one, blah, 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 literally saves you a lot of time. It's suited for small and large projects and does not require any C knowledge. Which, uh, makes it perfect fit for blueprints only and code projects alike. Save and load level, actors, levels, sub level, uh, blueprints, player inventory components, persistent data, or settings. Also supports one click, sa uh, one click savings of complex blueprint structure for any actor. So, in, in some ways, I guess you could think of this as a serialization tool. Uh, saving projects or saving games is definitely one of those things that people run into. Um, so this is uh, definitely a useful one. You can see it is composed of uh, 16 C++ classes uh, supported on uh, Windows and Mac and apparently it should work on uh, every platform but requiring manual compilation to make that work. Um, so yeah, if you want to add save games to your game, you have the ability with this add-on. Next up, we have Flowers and Plants Nature Pack. This one's pretty straightforward. It's Flowers and Plants Nature Pack. It includes more than 140 plant species, 760 high-quality static meshes, uh, of which 648 flowers and plants, 28 vegetable um, spline elements, and 84 uh, environment models. There's some weird grammar going on with this particular sentence, but okay, we'll move on from there. Uh, so like it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. 760 static meshes of a whole bunch of flowers and uh, splines, vegetable splines, and environmental models. You can see some of them in effect here. So if you want to populate your world with lots and lots of pretty stuff, this is the add-on for you. Supported by pretty much every platform that matters. Um, you see it consists of a number of different textures between half a K and 4K. Half a K makes sense. I'm going with it anyways. Uh, we got the 760 models as mentioned. There's 13 blueprints to go along with it. 579 material instances, uh, six master materials, and 2,208 textures. So, uh, yeah, pretty impressive pack, actually, as long as you want some flowers in your world. Next, we have the loading screen system. Uh, this one's actually a pretty impressive tool. So you can add loading screens and progress bars to your project and manage level transitions. I also believe there is a version on the way very shortly that uh, will add even more functionality. And it is the same version that you get when you buy it right here. So you can create uh, a fully customizable loading screens with progress indicators, videos, or any UI elements during level transitions as well as on game start uh, and this is kind of one of those areas 
And it's weird, because I cover basically all the game engines out there. So, you know, Unity, Unreal, Godot, Zenko, uh, Crying Engine, Lumberyard, blah, 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 blah. And this is something that is almost never included in the box. And this is something that almost every single game requires, which is very strange. So this is kind of like the out of the box things for, um, you know, if you got to load a level and it's going to take some time, you got to throw up a progress bar or, you know, you've got um, your initial login when you come in. Like this is the kind of stuff that actually handles that. And then the cool thing is it also supports mini games while you wait. I'm thinking to think there's a handful of games that do that. So basically, uh, if they got long loading times, they throw up a little mini game so you can distract yourself. This this thing actually supports that out of the box. Um, on top of that, fully customizable UMG, which is their uh, uh, the that's the standard Unreal Engine. Um, I forget what it means. Uni uniform Material Graph. Nah, I'm making that up. Basically, the UI layer from Unreal Engine UMG is what it actually uses for the um, the overlays. Um, so yeah, uh, this one's um, pretty impressive actually in content too. We got 11 blueprints there, 15 tutorial scenes, uh, works across the network. Um, oh, no, it does not work. It's not network replicated. Uh, it's currently a work in progress. So maybe that's one of those things we'll get in the next update. Um, yeah, and then a number of, a lot of things documenting it. Once again, this, this again is, I find really shocking that this functionality isn't out of the box and it's never out of the box so it's one thing that like i said almost every single game needs to have some kind of a loading screen or transitional screens or um you know that kind of stuff and none of them do uh so well here if you're using unreal engine you have an option now so handling this stuff and the cool thing is if you use this and someone else uses this unless you're using like quite literally the templated version it, it's behind the scenes stuff so it's not going to be all completely samey this just kind of extends the functionality it's not just copy and paste implementations so definitely a cool one to check out there and then we've got the close combat swordsman uh this package contains a close, I'm oh, sorry, a combat system, fully animated character set with a sword, a move system, walk, run, and jump, and a system for increasing the level of the character. Very strange and eclectic mix of things there. Um, so it looks like it's got like the logic for, you know, you want to create your own sword battling game. Um, yeah, you've got like a walk and fight and hit detection kind of system going on there and some swords. Again, a very strange mix of things in this particular one. So we got technical features. We have movement. There's a jumping system as well as a system for running and walking states. A combat system is also available where it's possible to walk in a fighting stance in all directions while making dashes or dodges at dodge dodging an attack, etc. Health components. This component comprises all the parameters of a character's health. It can be used not only with the characters, but also with any actor which might need health parameters. Melee weapons. The class of melee weapons for close quarter combat. In this project, there are three different swords. Excuse me. Stylized differently. Futuristic sword, sword of light, sword of darkness. Ooh. Uh, AI, basic artificial intelligence capable of hearing, seeing, following, and attacking the player from short range. XP management component comprises all the necessary logic to handling level up, leveling up of a character. Uh, game interface, HUD, there's a fully animated game interface. And combat overview, a cinematic camera in combat. I may have to check this one out just to see what the heck it is because there's an eclectic mix of things here but it basically sounds like um a third person action fighting style game like say like a dark souls light or um maybe devil may cry style game it sounds like they've implemented a number of the various different systems that you need to create such a game um including again a health and experience and so on uh, it's an interesting collection of things here because they've also got like the models and the animations and so on in here to work with it it comes with 77 animations uh 4k sword textures three Three meshes uh, between four and eight k a piece, as well as uh, twenty blueprint, um, twenty blueprints that actually provide all of this logic. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to check that one out to get into a little bit more depth of exactly what it is that's in there. But it basically sounds like the skeleton of a game going on. Uh, now we're into Freeland, I believe. Yes, we are. We're in Freeland. These are free forever. You do not have to buy them. There is no time limit. Uh, actually, you do te still technically have to buy them, but you don't have to buy them anytime soon, and they're always going to be free. And here we've got the JRPG template. The JRPG template, or Japanese-style role-playing game, uh, provides pack of the system all right this is not my wording rpg template provides pack of the systems needed to create your own jrpg game 
Okay, it even comes with some uh, JRPG translations. Uh, so we got here uh, characters, customizable character creation, uh, customizable stats per character, stat bonuses per level, uh, XP system, character formations we set in battle, uh, items, saving, we got a battling system, a turn-based battling system, granting EXP. So again, this sounds like another skeleton of a game. So in this, this particular update, we're getting two game skeletons. We're getting a JRPG style game and we're getting a third-person action uh, melee combat style of game here. Uh, I may have to check this one out just to see what the heck all of this stuff is. So we got 12 basic basic blueprints, including character, controllers, game modes, game instances, etc. Eight standard actors, eight character components, four blueprint interfaces, one function library blueprint, two save game objects, which ironically would probably work well with the save a game thing from the other thing. Um, 36 widget blueprints, structures, enums, data tables, eight character blueprints, five playable characters, and three enemies, three uh, interactable actors, and six levels. Yeah, so let's go through some of the pictures, see what kind of stuff we're getting here. So it looks like it's the framework for if you want to create a turn-based JRPG style title. Um, yeah, definitely have to check this one out to see uh, the extent of what you're actually getting here. The crux of it and the thing that's going to make this most useful or least useful is going to be the quality of the documentation, I think. Um, or the quality of the code. It is documented, so as we can see here, they, they have a document out link. Now, I, I'm gonna focus on that a little bit later because uh, we go into more depth with stuff that you're interested in. So if there's a particular one here that you want me to learn more about and you know teach you guys more about, do let me know. Um, there's no time limit on this one because, hey, it's available forever. And then our final free forever is a lot more straightforward to explain than the action RPG, or so the action fighting and the, the JRPG game because this one is just stuff. Everybody likes stuff. Um, this one is a modular sci-fi season two starter bundle. As um, discounted bundle, well, okay, very heavily discounted bundle, uh, for getting started on sci-fi projects in Unreal Engine 4 includes the first three packs of the modular sci-fi engineer collection, along with it, an exclusive environment showcasing how to utilize all the packs in one scene. It's a $50 savings. Uh, I think they need to update their description to go along with their new permanently free status. Um, but what we have here is a modular sci-fi hallways, props, interiors, exclusive example environment demonstrating how to utilize all of this stuff uh, example map from each pack uh, and then we've got uh, textures ranging from 64 by 64 to 4096 or 4k um, a bunch of assets 194 meshes 29 materials 265 material instances 407 textures and four blueprints now once again they were saying windows only but for something like this that doesn't make any sense it's content so it's going to work on any platform at least uh everything except for maybe the code and even under the code if you're using blueprints to control it i don't know why that would be platform specific either so again take this particular thing with an incredibly big grain of salt okay so that is this month's content once again let me know what you found most interesting in that particular list uh, if there's something you want me to jump into in more detail I think in some ways um, I think the most useful thing there is the um, the loading screens plugin uh, that is again it, I don't know why that isn't built into every game engine out there well the most intriguing is probably the melee one I think, at least in my opinion, but I'd love to hear what yours is, what you think of this particular content. And again, if there's anything you want me to check out. So finally, let us get to the sad news or the potentially sad news. This comes from a developer in the program or a marketplace creator who, you know, you submit your stuff and to be part of this. And this started last year in November. Today is October. That means it has run for one year. And it sounds like this was initially a one-year program. So there may not be any more free content next month. And that'll make me sad. I actually really enjoy this. Like I said, it's like a mini Christmas every year, even if I never actually use this stuff beyond making these videos or prototyping later on. It's just been fun to get this stuff for free. But this is something that basically Unreal has been forking out cash to developers to prime the well for a good month. Um, and I, I know a lot of you guys are basically, you're, you're into this stuff and you're on board with Unreal because of the free content giving it away. So I'm gonna be interested to see what happens if they stop doing this on a monthly basis. Have you already worked up like a nice little tool chest of stuff from these giveaways? Or 
Are you really going to be just as sad as I am to see it go? Now, that's not to say that this isn't going to happen again next month, but that that's kind of what the rumors are looking like, that they're not taking submissions for uh, from Marketplace developers, and this program may not be running next month. Now, are they going to replace it with something else? Fingers crossed. Are they going to keep running it? Fingers crossed. But we won't know until the first of next month. But from the Marketplace developer perspective, it sounds like this is not an ongoing thing anymore, or at least they haven't made any uh commitment that it's going to be continuing next month and they're not taking admission uh, applications and so on. So let's hope that that isn't true, but this could be the end of Unreal Christmas. Uh, sorry to be uh, the Grinch on this one, but uh, yeah. So let me know what you think of that potentially bad news as well. I guess we're not going to know for sure until the first of next month. And if it is canceled, if there is no more Unreal Christmas, I will let you all know the first of next month while I sob inconsolably into my keyboard. Okay, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye. Oh.